You have the floor now to make your intervention. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Dear Excellencies, uh, time for action is short, and keeping the 1.5 Celsius degree temperature limit within reach requires quick and impactful actions also on the ground. And for those to happen, it is essential for the European Union that domestic climate policies operationalize their contribution for a truly systemic transformation. In this context, the Just Transition Work Program is a key tool to reach net zero greenhouse gas emissions as soon as possible by reaping the transformative social, economic, and environmental benefits of these necessary transitions. With regards to the first guiding question, the EU sees uh, the just transition as an enabling higher ambitions for accelerated mitigation and adaptation. We have to continue our social development and economic growth through job creation, improvements in job quality, education and training, economic diversification, and social protection measures. And we believe that meaningful stakeholder involvement from the very start of designing and implementing NDCs and NAPs is crucial to ensure success of those policies and actions. So therefore, we introduced a very thorough uh, public consultation uh, when we are talking about climate neutrality by 2050, including a consultation with affected workers, vulnerable com communities, indigenous uh, people, and local communities, as well as social dialogue with all of the social partners, including trade unions, employers, and governments. So we are uh, believing that uh, we have to ensure a proper engagement of the main stakeholders contributing to an accelerated mitigation and adaptation. And with regards to the second question, I hand over the floor to my colleague, Wopke. Thank you, and thank you, Chair. I think it is crystal clear for us that towards the problem at large, we need to act now and we need to act fast. Uh, and yet, we have a clear imperative that we leave no one behind. And it is in this context that the uh, Just Transition Work Program is, in our view, a global reformation and a key tool to make sure that this transition is first and foremost about all of our people. And just to, to articulate what I'll just have stressed as well, the benefits and the fairness of a Just Transition is huge. It would include job creation, improvements in, jo in job quality and incomes, education and training. It would, it, it would imply economic diversification. It would imply social protection measures and access to essential services, such as a clean, affordable energy and, and public transportation. And these are all elements, dear friends, that are addressed under this framework. But I would add one thing. It would also mean putting the health and well-being of all individuals and all of our communities, particularly in the most vulnerable countries, front and center, as we should. So there's a lot we need to do. There's a lot we could learn from each other. And you know, we, we're very much looking forward to constructively discuss to make progress in the Just Transition Work Program. Um, but in the end, the proof of the pudding at this COP is also in the eating. We need clear messages on a Just Transition at this COP. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Excellencies. I now turn over to Tuvalu on behalf of AOSIS. You have the floor to make your intervention. Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, and colleagues, it is truly an honor to be here this afternoon. Tuvalu is speaking on behalf of the Alliance of Small Island States. Let me, co-chairs, uh, reiterate the importance of keeping on track with the global temperature goal. Every decision we make in Baku must be guided by our ultimate goal, the Paris Agreement. On question one, prioritizing climate resilience for vulnerable nations. For small island developing states, SITS, a just transition must prioritize climate adaptation. Given our high vulnerability to rising sea levels, extreme weather events, and biodiversity loss, 
Our NDCs and NAPs must address this risk while incorporating principles of justice, equity in the transition to low carbon economy. Localizing just transition approaches, a one-size-fits-all approach is ineffective. We need pathways that reflect a unique economic, environmental, and social